Good morning, Michael Feller here, Deals TV for Business Spectator, and it's Wednesday, the 30th of September. And uh, first off, um, some deals in the banking space. In Europe, uh, BNP Paribas um, is raising 4.3 billion euros to repair its balance sheet, and uh, Unicredit's raising 4 billion euros. Norway's DNB Nor is raising uh, five. Uh, 2.4 million uh, billion US dollars and uh, Spain's BBVA is raising uh, 2 billion euros you get the picture um, a lot of capital raisings going on and uh, and talk of consolidation expansion and uh, a return to the good times of uh, ridiculous banking profits and uh, big bonuses despite what the uh, what the uh, political leaders at the G20 summit were saying um, here in Australia there's a rumor that uh, Bank Populaire Bread, a French lender, is uh, looking to increase its stake in both Bendigo Bank and Bank of Queensland significantly. Um, I don't know how credible that rumour is. Um, it's been around for quite a while. Uh, uh, Bread has uh, minority interests in both banks, but that's, uh, that's more of an uh, investment portfolio strategy rather than a strategic thing, um, I'm told. So I don't personally expect uh, much to happen there. There's also talk that Australia and New Zealand Banking Group may indeed be interested in uh, Suncor Metway. Earlier we thought that uh, such a deal would be unlikely uh, considering the ACCC's probable rejection. However, Bank, uh, Suncor Metway of course exists outside of the four pillars and uh, there is a rumour that ANZ could be looking to raise an additional two billion Australian dollars. That at least was the rumour in The Australian earlier this week. And uh, indeed, if they did uh, buy Suncor Metway, it could be for the whole thing, not just its banking division. Uh, ANZ, after all, did buy uh, the life insurance division of ING earlier this week. And uh, the, uh, the other insurance assets of uh, Suncor could be complementary to that. Also, of course, uh, ING Direct could be uh, in the insights for ANZ. Um, and moving on now uh, to capital raisings and uh, Wilmot Forests is believed to be uh, raising capital today, at least according to the Australian Financial Review. Uh, this comes on the same day, of course, that Great Southern meets its uh, financing deadline. So uh, news either way from the forestry section sector today. And uh, also in the, on the capital raisings front, uh, WDS, a, uh, an engineering services firm, uh, has uh, bought a mining services company, uh, Tightline Energy, um, for $29 million. And uh, they're also raising, well, they also raised rather uh, $45.7 million yesterday uh, to help finance that deal. Anyway, that's all we've got time for this morning. I'll see you tomorrow.